project as a whole is known as the upgrade of the Mount Edgecombe interchange. This interchange has been upgraded up to a four level interchange, totally free flow. It comprises of uh, seven major bridges and it comprises of a series of uh, retaining structures from the normal uh, concrete reinforced structures to a mechanically stabilized earth walls and to soil nail walls as well. We have mechanically stabilized earth walls that you can see behind me, which is basically used to save space in terms of um, providing the required fill to support the um, road coming from the bridges. There's two ILMs, 215 and 214. This is the longest ILM in the Southern Hemisphere. This bridge essentially was constructed in three segments. It was built with the islands first, from the south, then the north, and then the in situ sections, which was the north and then the south also. The last item that's really going to emphasize the project is naturally the lighting of the whole interchange. The lighting system is state of the art. It's a new LED technology designed to use very little electricity. In terms of distribution, we've used almost 20,000 meters of copper cabling. At the end of the day, the safety factor is very important. Everything is calculated, everything is according to drawing, and there's angles that the lights are placed on, so that when one is driving, you don't get the glare off, off the luminaires in the old type fittings that you see there. At the present state, the SMME is at around 150 million. There are officially no JVs. It's just one contractor who's had the whole job. The company I'm Lana Itila ne Happy and Channel, Iwokwe, Nama Island. The project is in Chile, because the name is the same for the Kuyona Lekapai. Central is the same for the Bas Kuku, the Sigwazi, the Siku, the Kuku, the Kapai, the Kapai. The geological conditions were very trying. The other aspects we had to do was, of course, incremental launching. But we had to start pushing the limits in trying to incremental launch up to 550 meters. These were now the new challenges we had, and uh, very much a good experience for everyone that worked on the project. The total cost of the project was in excess of 800 million, including VAT.